colleague Timothy Kipnosu has been pitching camp in Karen for the better part of the morning hours. And he is joining us live now from Karen Kipnusu. The Kenya Defense Forces has been at the fore to ensure the country is uh, protected and especially at uh, the borderlines. What uh, is the latest development you have uh, from your end? Yeah, very good afternoon to you, uh, Irene Muchuma Oding there at the Broadcasting House. Yes, indeed, uh, I am coming to you live uh, from uh, the Defense Staff College in Karen, where this particular institution has just uh, held its uh, 36th graduation uh, ceremony since its inception in 1984, and the event has just ended a few minutes ago. It was presided over by the Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Defense, uh, Ambassador Dr. Monica Aduma, accompanied by uh, dignitaries uh, in the military, including uh, General Mohammed Abadi, uh, who is uh, the uh, Director General of Nairobi Metropolitan uh, Services. And uh, it has been a momentous occasion, uh, bearing in mind uh, that Kenya has been uh, grappling with the issues of security, and uh, the Cabinet Secretary has loaded uh, the cooperation between the countries that have participated. Remember, 56 uh, graduates have uh, graduated this particular day, uh, 48 from Kenya and eight drawn from other countries, including uh, Burundi, Egypt, Malawi, Zambia, Uganda, and Tanzania. And that cooperation, uh, the uh, cabinet secretary has uh, loaded and saying this is the way to go and saying that uh, the issue of security, no, no boundaries and therefore called for all other countries or the countries to continue cooperating with Kenya in terms of uh, security. Remember, uh, the other countries uh, that I've mentioned, uh, we also have other countries that have participated uh, in, in the uh, earlier on, uh, including Botswana, we also have Swaziland, South Africa, South Sudan, Ethiopia, uh, Lesotho, just to mention uh, but a few. Uh, very important to note, uh, uh, Iron is. Uh, Defense for the uh, Defense Staff College is one of the institutions that provides an opportunity for the selected officer to get a training or to get the assumption of office, remembering that uh, there is increased responsibility in, uh, in matters to do with command and staff duties, and uh, bearing in mind that uh, it's one of the critical component in our country because uh, they are in charge of securing our borders. And uh, this particular institution was uh, started in 1983. It's now uh, around 38 uh, years since it was started, and it has had 15 major generals who have led this particular institution. And uh, among the 15, uh, the one that is leading now is uh, a major general commandant, uh, Martin Ongoi, who took over the leadership mantle in uh, 2019, now three years uh, since he took over. And remember, since it was started, it has actually offered training to 1,463 uh, officers who have managed uh, to be trained from this particular institution, and out of whom 338 comes from, uh, uh, they, they come from different countries that have uh, cooperated with Kenya in terms uh, of uh, security. It has been a momentous occasion indeed, and uh, uh, the, the cabinet secretary uh, calling upon uh, all other relevant bodies to actually ensure that uh, the officers get the relevant support so that they can be able to deliver on their mandate in securing our borders. That's what we have for now. Of course, we will keep our viewers abreast in what happened this particular event in our subsequent uh, bulletin. From me, Timothy Kipnusu, I hand you back to studio, Irene. Kipnusu.